Hello everybody and welcome back guys. Welcome back to Moonglow Bay. Now I'm not sure how many of you guys already know about Moonglow Bay here but um, this game I've actually been playing for the past couple of weeks now and although we have finished the main storyline in this game uh, today I decided to jump back at it just to try to go through it a little bit more because although we just finished up the quest line here apparently we can keep on going with the game and uh, keep on exploring of course and trying to do some of the side quests. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how many side quests we're going to be able to do here, uh, because if I go into the quests, so these ones are all the ones that we completed, the ones that are grayed out, of course, but we can actually see the ones that we still have to do, which is, of course, the Civic Restoration, which I'm pretty sure I've done. Not quite sure exactly why this is not uh, completed. Uh, and also the Song of the Sea that we got to chat with somebody around town here. And not to mention we got to cook this bhajan seasoned fried flying fish. But uh, in order to do this one, of course, I'm going to have to first of all unlock the recipe and then I'm going to be able to do it. But I guess we're going to try to uh, see how well we're going to do in today's live stream. And uh, hopefully we can 100% the uh, game here. I'm not quite sure. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Anyway, that being said, welcome guys. Thank you again very much for joining. And uh, who do we got here? We got Rishan BG. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> You seem to be joining every single one of my live streams, so thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much for joining. All right, so let me just see what other recipes we can cook. Um, because the one that I'm actually trying to unlock right now is this right here. This one is the Bajan Season Fried Flying Fish. And although I'm also going to need the Moon Glow Flying Fish, um, which I am definitely going to be able to go ahead and get it, I guess. First of all, you know what? Let me start cooking some of this. Just because the more you cook in this game, the more recipes you are going to be able to unlock. And uh, eventually, hopefully we can get to the recipes that I'm trying to get to. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Rishant, have you actually been uh, watching the entire series here of Mungalo Bay? Now, if you haven't, don't worry about any spores or anything like that. Because although we just finished up the game... Um, what we're going to be doing here is not going to be any support to that, so don't worry about it. Uh, will Munglo Bay now be live every single time? I mean, it will be for a little bit until we're going to be able to 100% it, I guess. Uh, because the rest of them have been recorded, of course. So yeah, I went through the story, finished up the story of the game. Not live, of course, and from now on, these ones are going to be uh, live. Not sure how many episodes we're going to do with Munglo Bay Live, but uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I'm just trying to do to get to 100% here as much as possible. Alright, let's see. What else should we cook? Um, This one is minus 30%. I don't think that's going to be worth it. What else should I cook? I mean, I could go ahead and cook some of these. I don't really have that many bugs, so yeah, I, th I don't think we have that much fish. I think I'm supposed to go ahead and try to find me more fish, and then I'm going to be able to finish up the um, recipes. So, let me just put some food in the shop so that we can sell it. I mean, we do have quite a lot of fishies, let me tell you. I mean, look at this. We have so many species already. I'm not even sure if I have to go back to... Hmm, I think I may need to go to the aquarium to put some of them into the aquarium. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just put all of these inside here to sell it. Uh, we got some flying fish that we got to place in here. Alright. Uh, fish kebab. I'm going to hold on to that one. Surf and surf. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to the, the rest of them. Just because I'm going to need to give them to some of the people around town. I missed a few episodes. But I watched most of them. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's a really peaceful game. Uh, this is, they, the, the people are calling this a cozy game, of course, right? Because it's very chill, very relaxing. Alright, let me get some more missions over here. Because we are going to be able to do these ones. Uh, it is just 7 a.m. so far, so I wonder where the mayor might be, because I do have the clam chow for him. And I feel like i got to give him one more in order to finish up the missions um, with him. Let's see, this one opens up at... 8 a.m. Hey, look at that. There's the mayor that I wanted to chat with. Hey, buddy. Almost there. Uh, let me give him the clam chowder he requested, which is going to be this one. Uh, more clam chowder. I know I could smell something amazing. And speaking of amazing things, you want to talk about the future of the town? Oh, yeah. Munglo Bay has some of the most diverse wildlife on the Atlantic uh, Northwest. That is the key to our future. Exploration, uh, elucidation, and education. Also, tourism. I understand you're helping Marino Pixito with uh, the aquarium. Just do what I can. 
Same as everyone. Well, we're at the gate crossroads now. Sink or swim? History is watching us all. Hmm, especially your, uh, your clam chowder. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I think I'm gonna have to bring him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to bring him one more in order to finish up the mission here. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to come back at him once I'm gonna have that. But first, let me just make my way to the aquarium right here. Just to make sure I deliver all the fish that we got in the previous episode. That was, that was of course, not a live stream. Alright, Marina is here. And... Actually, we already delivered all these fishies. Hmm. I wonder how many fishies we still have to deliver, though. Let me just... Uh, let me just check the book. Let me just check the book and see. So... These pages are done. I mean, look at this. We are almost done. What? So we're missing one species over here, apparently. Give the specific marina, yada yada. So we got this page done. This page is missing two fishies. This one is just missing one. This one is missing three. Yeah, so we still have to find quite a few more fishies by the looks of it. Oh, never mind. This one is the big one that we just got. Uh, this one has been actually discovered in the last episode. A timeless and unwavering the shepherd's fish. Carriage into the uh, har har feather and soul of the departed. What? This one looks like a freaking dragon. I love it. The shepherd fish. So cool. Alright, so I see that we only have just a few more fishies that we got to discover. Of course, most of the fishies that we unlocked have already been fished and found in the ocean. But uh, it does look like there are a few more pages, such as these two, that I haven't managed to find anything. And apparently this one at the bottom, on the left side, the spider crab. Uh, local rumors vary from it being able to crawl uh, in the drain pipes. But hiding in bathtubs. <laughs> hmm, not sure where I'm supposed to find this one. Uh, Turtles for life. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any turtles and uh, <laughs> put him inside uh, the aquarium here. Uh, the thing is, there is this sign that I, I think it may might have glitched. Although I did clean this place up completely, as you guys can see as I'm zooming out right now. Uh, oh, I also see. Hold up. I just saw a sign here. So, may this be the final one that I got to do? Ah, I think it is. I think this may be the final one that I had to do in order to completely fix up the entire town. Alright, let me just check the options. Civic restoration, so it's still not done. Hmm. Dang it, I really, really wanted this one to be done. Huh. So I wonder if I actually missed some other signs around here then. Let me just make my way to the top here. Let's just see. There might be some signs that I may have missed. I don't even know, to tell the truth. Don't even know. Alright, nothing on this side. I just got here. Don't worry about it, Tur Turtles for Life. <laughs> don't worry about it. We just barely started the live stream. Alright, does this guy want something from me? Oh, you got my notes? Okay, so this guy has something. Uh, let's see what he's requesting. So he's requesting a jerkfish poutine, uh, which I think I can actually do. The thing is, I gotta go ahead and cook it first. Alright, I'm gonna try to pay attention then and see if there are any more signs just to try to uh, fix up the entire town here. Do all the restorations and everything. Alright, buddy, come on. Make your way down below. And I think I'm going to go back to my um, scooter, just because it's going to be a little bit easier to traverse around here. And again, as I was saying, I got to pay attention for those signs, because there might be some more places I got to fix, and I just didn't notice. It might happen. It might 100% happen. Hmm, let's see, nothing on this side. Now, this is where I also need to chat with her about her singing. The thing is, every single time I chat with her, nothing's really happening. So I'm not quite sure what this uh, mission is all about. <laughs> You're sad there aren't any turtles. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't exactly know if there are any turtles in the game, if you can actually see them. Um, but catching turtles and putting them in an aquarium, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's just see. Let's just see if we have any more signs around here. I would love it if I could be able to finish up the mission, fixing up the entire town. Although we did fix most of it. 
Day Games, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream, and thank you very much for joining, buddy. All right, nothing on this side. And I really wish that we could actually open up this um, tunnel here that would eventually take us to another location. Let me just check the map. Yeah, because you guys can see the tunnel is actually taking us right through here. So maybe there might be another update coming soon in the game that would allow us to just take this tunnel and go to a different town. I would absolutely love this because this game has been very, very enjoyable. Just taking it easy, catching some fishies and uh, doing some quests has been really chill. All right, let me go inside the uh, fish shop here so that we can purchase ourselves some things. First of all, let me check out this fella. Gingerbread houses. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like gingerbread houses, right? Definitely does. Thank thanks again for all the fish tacos. Remember, the only way to master recipes is to keep cooking. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. I gotta keep on cooking if I wanna unlock all the recipes. So, let's just see. Uh, this guy does not have any more recipes, unfortunately. But I'm gonna make my way over here and purchase some more flying fish. Oh, she doesn't have any more in the store. God dang it, seriously? Hmm. I really wanted to get some more flying fish in the store here. Oh, what is this? The void pike? I don't remember catching this. Huh. Yeah, I got no clue. I don't remember catching that one. I'm probably gonna have to try to put it in the um in the aquarium. Because I completely don't remember putting that one in the aquarium. So let me just check this real fast. I love that I can actually horn. Uh, did I just see a sign there? No. That's fine. All right. So let me see if I can put this one inside the aquarium right over here. And the answer is no. Apparently, I already put the void pike. I mean, look at this place, though. It has evolved so much. We got so many species of fishes inside here. Especially this large crab over here. Look at this thing. That looks ginormous. All right, uh, we can go to the cloud zone. Whoa. This is so beautiful. Yeah, I think this is the first time I'm uh, checking out the cloud zone in the aquarium. All right, I think we are completely done here then. In that case, let me just make my way back home. And jump on a boat and go fishing because... There's no easier way to do the mission if I'm not going to catch the fishes that I need. Oh, hold up. What's my, uh, what's my daughter doing here? Of course, this is the statue that they built up for us, which I absolutely love. Hey, River, say, uh, just as a hypothetical, I had a really tiny, practically insignificant mishap with the troller. <laughs> oh, she's telling me that I can call for Abby. Yeah, so, uh, she can help me. Now, why does the beach look a little bit dirty, though? I know for a fact that I already cleaned this up. Yeah, definitely clean this up because I don't see a sign that will allow me to clean up again. <laughs> I bet you stand to get every single meal in the game. I mean, that's kind of my goal here, to try to unlock every single one of the meals. Uh, let me see what Abby needs. So Abby needs a cushion fish. I don't think I have that. And a white belly for claws. Let me see if I can find claws. Hey, Claude. What's up, buddy? All right, so let me see if I have... Uh, what do I need? Fish cake or... Did I need fish cake? I don't even know. Wait, what did I need? Uh, oh, white belly. Never mind. White belly. Hello, buddy. Let me give you the white belly. So he wanted a fish, which is... Oh, actually, no. This one is the Atlantic cod. The Atlantic blue. Which one is the white belly then? Um, I'm pretty sure I had it. That's a red drum. White belly right here. There we go. Awesome. Oh, brilliant. That's so kind of you. All right, so we got that. And also, I know for sure that he needs the crab rice. But another bowl of crab rice for you. Now, about the ending. Okay, what would you like to happen? For the gardener and the troller to rebuild. <laughs> It'll be... The time and effort. Why should they? It wasn't their fault the garden fell to ruin. Right, it wasn't anyone's. The community built it together and let it fall together. Everyone had a stake in it, and everyone would have felt it lost just uh, as a kindly. 
And so everyone deserves a second chance, even at the risk of it all happening again. Whoa, you really are quite the optimist, Santin, but fine. And so together, the Guardians and the Traveler rebuilt one's famous garden. Knowing that the friendship born from a shared experience, uh, experience will make the next community stronger than ever. Ah, uh, sure, why not? That reminds me. May I see your journal? Ah, uh, there we go. I think we are done with another signature. And of course, I gotta deliver some more of these uh, recipes to some more people, some more foods. And the next one is definitely gonna be the mayor. The problem that I'm seeing right now inside the journal is that I have two spots so for two more signature. And of course, one's gonna be reserved for the mayor. And the problem is, another one is gonna be reserved for somebody else, but I have no idea who else. I have a feeling somebody actually glitched up my game here, as I was saying. And I'm not gonna be able to 100% it because of that. And I'm not quite sure exactly what to do about it. Anyway, let me get some sleep. Reset the day here, just like that. And early in the morning, just head on out on the ocean and keep on fishing. When did I join the uh, YouTube community, are you asking me? Uh, because this channel is about to grow or about to reach three years in, um, in February 2022. All right, let me see what else I can cook here. I mean, I have so many recipes still that I got to cook. So let me try to cook as much as possible. Why not? All right, let's do this. So yeah, Rishan was uh, right when he said three years. Yeah, I think I started this channel on February 2019. If you actually go uh, all the way back to the channel, to the first video that I posted, I think that's the easiest way to see when it has been posted. Yeah, you are right. But uh, I've actually been trying to do YouTube for even longer than that. I had a uh, channel before this one. And that one went for about five years or something like that. It wasn't a gaming channel though. That was a uh, tech review channel. Alright, let me boil this one real fast. Fishing is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun for sure. But I also enjoy uh, cooking as well, just because all that fishing eventually you gotta use it with something. And of course, if you wanna unlock all the recipes, you gotta go ahead and start cooking, unless uh, nothing's gonna happen if you don't do it. All right, let's also do some steamed fish. Why not? I mean, look at how many fishes we got here. All right, let's do some of these. In this game, my favorite part about it is uh, exploring, just exploration, just exploring the world and uh, uncovering new locations. I absolutely love that part. It was great that although you are in the ocean, um, and you might have thought you might have thought that everything would be very similar, we did have quite a few biomes in this game, and that was really enjoyable. I mean, we did have the icy area, we had like the, come on, buddy, like the, uh, how can I call it? Where those bubbles were rising in the icy area, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know how to call that area. That's how weird it was. Uh, let me get some of these. And some of these. Perfect. Hey you! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! Alright, let's fry this up very, very fast. Grab some more fishies, chop them down real fast, just like that, perfect, and ultimately fry them up. There we go. Awesome, I got it. Um, hmm. I mean, I could make some grilled octopus, you know what, let me try to make some grilled octopus. Hopefully, if I make this, I will unlock some more recipes, because I don't think I have any other recipes with the octopuses. Date, what is your favorite, uh, what is your favorite, uh, series on the channel? Oh, God, I think I just got, we just got a member joining in. Hold up, let me check, because I'm going to finish uh, cooking this up. Uh, Michael, don't know you. Welcome, buddy. Thank you very much for becoming a member and supporting the channel, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Uh, if you are not on Discord already, make sure, uh, you set up your Discord to be 
connected with YouTube, and you're gonna be able, you're you're gonna be automatically added to uh, the Discord server, the private Discord server for members only. But thank you very much, buddy, for joining in. Shout out for Alice. She's a real fan. Thank you very much, Alice, for watching the uh, the videos. I'm guessing you have come from Sneaky Sasquatch, right? <laughs> but thank you very much for joining in. I'm definitely going to be doing some more Sneaky Sasquatch videos and live streams very, very soon. As uh, we are still waiting for the update to be released by the developers for Sneaky Sasquatch. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming very, very soon. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that it's going to come out in December. Not sure exactly the date, but uh, it's probably, probably going to come out in December. The devs have been working very hard on the latest uh, update. And I have a feeling the latest Sneaky Sasquatch update is going to be absolutely huge. And at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's also going to be a storyline that's going to be added to the game. Not more, not not only more things that we're going to be able to do. So I'm going to have to definitely make a lot of videos for that. Alright, uh, so we got to chop this out. Mine has to be the Moonglow Bay. Ah, seriously? Awesome! Yeah, me personally, I'm a huge fan of uh, these cozy games. Uh, I just like these ones. It's just so cool to just simply relax and play a game where you don't really have to be worried about other players uh, ruining your fun or anything like that. And that's why these games are called cozy games, of course. Alright, let me make some seafood chow. Let me make a lot of them. Let me just use all the fishes that we got. Why not? I'm trying to go through all the, uh, all the fishes that we got so that we can go out and start fishing some more. All right, there we go. Uh, does my country celebrate Thanksgiving? No, in my country, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. I think that's an American um, holiday, right? I'm pretty sure about it. Oh my God, the shopping though. So much shopping that we had to do here. All right, perfect, we got that. Uh, let me grab some seasoning here and chop this up as well. Alright, let me get the sauce, get it ready, and that should be uh, the final one. Uh, can you play Remember Me? Remember Me? What game is that? Is that how the game is called, Remember Me? Yeah, I don't think I know, I don't think I know the game though. I've been playing so many games um, for the past couple of days that it's really difficult to um, remember all of them. Alright, and this one is going to be the final recipe that I'm going to be doing for now. After this, I'm going to jump in the ocean and start fishing some more. I definitely have to start catching some more fishies, but I think I may need to start going for specific locations and also figuring out what type of bait and lure I got to use to try to catch all of them. My favorite series was I Am Fish. <laughs> yeah, that was a really funny one. Really funny. I really wish that the devs would bring uh, some more levels to that game because it was really fun. Especially that bonus level with the space. That was very, very fun. But of course, if you guys haven't managed to watch the Mungolo Bay that we're playing right now, you can, you can always go ahead and watch it uh, just to see the storyline. Because right now where we're playing, this one has been after we finished up the game completely. And right now I'm just trying to finish it up 100%. Trying to do all the cooking and everything and unlocking all the recipes. Yeah, I will check Remember Me after this stream ends and uh, I will see if that's going to be for this channel or not. But yeah, thank you very much for letting me know. I will check it out and see what that looks all about. Uh, I know for sure that somebody also told me about a game called... Um Escape Room or something like that. I think that's how it's called. It's a brand new game that has just been released uh, very recently. And I am looking into playing that one as well. Alright, let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, I want to also do some kebabs. Sell them off. Let's also do some stuffed fish. And uh, actually, let's sell all the crab rice because we're completely done with the crab rice, right? That guy already told us the story, so I don't think uh, we're going to need to save it for him anymore. And one surfer type. All right, so this stuff is going to sell. Us, I'm going to make my way into the ocean and uh, start getting some more fishies. 
while we're at it, you know what? Let me also go ahead and catch me a crab here, I guess. Perfect. All right, uh, let me go with the agile rods. Um, I guess the plug lore and the high baits. Go in the ice area. All right, let's go in the ice area and try to fish up a little bit over there and see what we can catch. But look at the um, look at the boat that we have though. <laughs> this is just so upgraded. It's crazy. All right, low grade bait. Uh, before I'm gonna go there though, let me also try to get me all the uh, crabs. Or I guess all the bugs in this case. I should also go ahead and uh, start making myself some more bait, though, because we're kind of running low on bait. Alright. I mean, look at this thing. It's got a freaking wing at the back and everything. It looks amazing. It's been designed like this so that it can actually float, because there is a brand new area in the ice cold location that I managed to uh, get to. All right, let's put this down. Perfect, and let's keep on, uh, keep on going inside. Let's keep on driving it up. I mean, look at this. It's even got the icebreaker at the front that would allow me to go through ice, which is great. And I think I'm gonna do just that as I'm gonna try to catch me more fishies. And not to mention, look at the amount of coins that we got, the amount of clams that we got. That is insane. All right, so I think I should make my way to Kraken Cove over here and see what fishes we can catch, actually. Yeah, so let me make my way to the left side, just like that. And while we're at it, let me also collect the crab. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a shrimp over here, just the way I want it. Awesome. Uh, while we're at it, let me also back this down a little bit, just to try to catch me some more fishes over here and see what we can get. I'm really hoping that we can complete the book, though. Alright, there we go. Any new fishies? Please give me something new. I think we got something new. Did we? The Anvil Grunt. No, we definitely had all of these ones before still. So, yeah, we should be good. I don't exactly know how to find other species. Um... Other than just going and exploring and trying different lures and everything like that, I don't exactly know how you can actually catch some specific ones. You love eating shrimp. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a really huge fan of uh, seafood, though. Come on, come on. All right, just a moon eel, seriously? Oh man. I was really expecting that one to be something else. Just because it took a little bit of trying here. Come on. Oh, what? That broke. Seriously? Wow. I think that's the first time it actually breaks. It's, I'm not even tired or anything like that, so I have no idea why that broke. Come on, buddy. Just another Munil. Seriously? Hmm. I think I should go on. Let me just try a different uh, lure. Let's go with the poise rods and the multi lure. Why not? The thing about the multi lure is that's allowing me to catch two fishies at one time, I think. Let me just pull this a little bit closer. Now, I know for sure that you can actually catch some of these uh, fishies, not only in the specific location that I'm trying to. Seriously, just moon eels? <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, apparently I'm only finding moon eels here, so let me just back down then. I'm gonna try a different air location. Because it looks like only moon eels are going to be available on that side. Man, there have been so many voxel-style games that came out very recently. Not to mention this tummy tickler. Look at this. <laughs> this looks so good. Uh, and unfortunately, I released them for some reason. I have no idea what I pressed about that button, but that's fine. I keep on confusing buttons here. All right. And I didn't get that one. It's fine. Yeah, another moon eel. Man, so many moon eels. Hold up, let me throw this a little bit harder. There. there we go. That is great. 
And after this one, I'm gonna make my way towards the Kraken Bay. And another tummy tickler. All right, awesome. All right, hold up. Let me just grab these two first of all. Crab, awesome. A hermit crab, actually. All right, we got you, which is gonna be another shrimp. And another one. There we go. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> I love it. All right, so next up, because we do have... Oh, River, any advice? Yeah, we do have the Icebreaker. I know. I'm just about to go through this because we do have the Icebreaker, but I need to get a little bit of speed first. There we go. All awesome. Yeah, this crazy thing in front of the ship, this is one is uh, that's allowing us to cross through. And I just found a spot right over here that I can go and fish, but let me just go all the way to the back. Just in case, there might be some species of fishies that are only going to spawn all the way to the back. Alright. Now, I know that there were some fishies that had some conditions that the only way you could catch them is if you use only some specific lures and uh, fishing rods. But since I don't know the exact combination, I guess it's just going to be a try and miss. Or I should say a trial and error. Okay, we just got that one. That's fine. And I love it that whenever we're catching these ones, they keep on spawning again. As soon as I finish catching them, they're just going to spawn back in. You can easily just go on and keep on uh, grabbing more. Now, another thing that I really wish that this game would have was the ability for us to just build stuff around town. I mean, I know you have the ability to rebuild this town, right? But I would have loved it if I could actually have the ability to... Uh, build up our own home, add some furniture, and uh, customize it. That would be so cool. Alright, so we had all of these ones already caught. Hmm. Alright, let's see. What bait should I use? So, let me go with the strong rods. And the plug lure. And the high gray bait. Let's go with that combination. And see what we can catch. Of course, at the moment, I'm not using the fishing rod. I'm just using the net. So, uh, we're not going through... A bait at the moment. <laughs> I mean, look at the eyes on the spectacle goopy, though. And we got a frost octopus. Awesome. What I love about this game is that it does have multiple ways for us to catch fishes, right? We can use the uh, fishing, the uh, fishing rods. We can use the net or we can use the um, the traps. All right, so if I check the map, I still have to go a little bit more to get to the Kraken Cove. So let me keep on going a little bit more. Can I destroy this? Oh God, why didn't that work? Oh my God, that kind of destroyed my ship a little bit. You gotta pay attention because you can actually destroy your ship and you are gonna have to be pulled back in by Abby if you do that. <laughs> the goopy looks weird. Yeah, there are some really, really strange fishies for sure. Uh, hopefully, we can actually catch some of those crazy looking fishies on in today's live stream. Come here, buddy. Wait, my trap got. What's happening? My fishing net got stuck in something. I cannot pull it. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to release it. Take it. Hold up. Let me move this one a little bit because it kind of got stuck in there. And try it again. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I had to release them, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch a turtle, to tell the truth. I don't know anything about a turtle, although I may be wrong because I did not manage to catch all the fishes in uh, in this game. I still have to catch a few more and add them to the aquarium. Alright, let's see. So we got, yeah, nothing new. Hmm. 
Eight got stuck. Donate to Team C's to save it. All right, well, now, now that we got all the way to this side, let me just use, as I was saying, uh, I scared those off a little bit, but that's fine. Let me just use the fishing rod now to see if we can catch something really cool. That one kind of went a little bit too far away, but I think it's going to be fine. Ooh, the frosted catfish. Look at this thing. 35 kilos. I definitely caught some fishes that were even bigger than that. Alright, another uh, goopy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Give me something good. And next up, we got another Goopy. Hmm, I, I keep on finding a lot of these Goopies, though. I think I may need to change my fishing rod and the, um, and the lure. Yeah, look at that. I keep on finding a lot of these Goopies. So let me make my way inside the ship. Uh, let me grab... I guess the poise rod and the jiggler. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see how this goes. <coughs> Moniel, come on. Seriously? I mean, so far, most of the fishes that I caught in order to complete the book, the guidebook, I use the uh, the net, not the fishing rod, just because I know you can uh, you can catch multiple fishes with the fishing rods. And you know what? Let me just use this one then, because this one's gonna allow me to catch multiple fishes at once. So that X, X, B, Y, X. And look at... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just Moonials? Come on. What was that? Oh my god. I may need to change my lure here. I don't even know what's happening. That is not a good one. Let's just go with the uh, plug lure. Yeah, let's just do it like that. That was way too much. Another goopy. Seriously, bud? Come on. And you know what? Let's just change the position. It, it feels like we're not able to catch anything else around here. Uh, let me back out. I want to try to make my way to these ones. All the way to the back. And see what these ones are going to give me. Oh, I didn't want to scare them off. Just try that again. Oh, I cannot see anything because of the position. Come on. All right. Like, this is going to be much better. Let's just see what we can get this time. Yeah, I feel like the Team C's campaign has been very successful. They have managed to remove so much trash out of the ocean. Alright, this one's probably gonna give me just two fishies. <laughs> just two goopies. It looks like I'm only finding goopies and eels here, so I think I may need to change the location. This is definitely not the right uh, spot to be. So let me just get some sleep first of all, as it is almost 6 a.m. There we go. All right. And next up, let's just keep on going. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go to the brand new location that we discovered in the uh, final episode of the uh, season here. Which is going to be on the left side as soon as I'm going to get out of this area. Alright. Uh, let me give these fellas a little bit of that. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. These are some brand new species that we're getting right now. Now, I'm going to still stay in the icy area, but I'm going to move to the other one. Just because it feels like at the Kraken Cove here, we're not really finding anything else other than eels and the goopy fishy. 
Yo, look at that. A lot of these goopies. Come on. Seriously? And if I'm gonna try this one, because I think I'm right now I'm not in the Oh, did I just scare him off? I think I did, yeah, but they are spawning back in, that's fine. There we go. Alright, a tiny tickler. Awesome. Not bad. Vladimir, welcome buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you very much for joining in. As we're trying to complete here the book and the recipes. I'm gonna try to cook all everything that we can so that we can increase our recipes. Because at the moment we don't really have that many recipes unlocked, tell the truth. We just have a few of them. And this one apparently is only giving me the tummy tickler. <laughs> Which is not really a bad fish though. I think if I'm not mistaken, this one is actually worth quite a bit. But at the moment, although we do have 23,000 clams collected, I don't really need to spend any more clams or anything. Yeah, look at that. We keep on finding this one. So, um... I mean, I could go in here, change to the poison rod and the spinner lure, and see if this is going to change anything. <laughs> and I just changed to something and now it's just giving me these things. Are you kidding me? We have so many eels though. Alright, that's gonna be an X and finally B. <laughs> Look at that, just eels. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we definitely have to change locations, guys. It seems like uh, we're just catching eels here. I am just done with these fellas. I need something else. Oh god, no, 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 no. Let me switch to this side. And you know what, while we're at it, while you guys are talking about the uh, Team C's here, let me also go ahead and clean up the ocean a little bit. Why not? Let's just do a little bit of cleaning. There we go. We just got that garbage. I just noticed some garbage as I was going over, so why not just clean it up? Get rid of it. Perfect. I know it's it's showing that it's still there, although I did remove it. It's just a glitch, I guess, in the game. What is the most annoying song you ever heard? I don't really get annoyed by songs as much. But of course, there are some genres of uh, songs that I just don't listen to because I don't like them. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Did you get something? A lot of shrimp still. I feel like in this spot where I am fishing right now, this place is giving me a lot of shrimps, all sort of shrimpies. Yeah, alright, I think we're done. Perfect. In that case, let's just keep on going. Let me also grab this trap while we add it. So that we can collect another crab. Awesome. The low grade bait. I'm also gonna have to go ahead and fix up my ship as I'm gonna go back home later on, as uh, it is a little bit damaged at the moment as far as I can see. Now, what I want to try, I want to try to go to the uh, dragon fish. And I think this fella is all the way up here. Oh my god, look at all the trash in here. Seriously? You guys know that I gotta clean this up, eh? <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. That's a lot of it, look at that. We got a bucket, a tire, and a lot of wood. Come on, pull it in. Oh my god, look at this! So much! There we go. If I'm not mistaken, there was a kid back in town that told me that if I do collect a lot of trash, he will eventually upgrade my fishing net somehow, but he never did. Although I collected a lot of trash. <laughs> yeah, Team C's! <laughs> Alright, look at that. We got more fishies. Now, we've been doing a lot of fishies today. 
uh, around fishing today, and unfortunately we did not manage to get any new species. So I think what I'm going to have to do is instead get to the brand new location. If only collecting the trash from this game would also collect the trash in the real world. <laughs> I would actually play this game every single day. At least one bit every single day. And all I would do is just collect trash. If only that would work like that. Alright, let's just wait for some fishes here. And I love it that this game also has the ability for us to allow us to just release the fishes that we're catching if you don't want them. Or if they're too small, of course. Allow them to grow up more. You should check in your fish book to see what lure and rod you need to catch the giant clam for the mare. I know the one you're talking about. Um, ooh! The skipping steam. I thought this one was a brand new... Uh, fish, but I think I already caught it before. Yeah, I, I mean, I know what I gotta do in order to catch the clam that you're saying. Um, all I gotta do is just use the fishing net, but I gotta go to a specific location in order to catch it, and I think I'm gonna go there very, very soon. Before I'm gonna make my way to the bubbly area, I think I'm gonna go there. Just to at least get myself one or two more clams. But as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that my game is glitched for some reason, and I'm not going to be able to complete the entire jungle with the signatures, because there is one more character in the game that I know for sure that I had to give them some food, but for some reason, I just, at one point, it just decided not to work anymore. So as I was saying, let me jump into the small dinghy over here, because I'm going to have to go and get myself some, uh, just like that. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get myself those clams that you were talking about, the large clams. Oh, actually, it's not here. Mm, yeah, I think I gotta go back a little bit. Hold up, hold up. Let me try it again. And while we're at it, I may also have to go to sleep here because it's very late outside and I will have to go to sleep eventually. Alright, let me go inside and... Let's see the book. So, you said about the clam, right? The giant clam. Uh, what do we need for the giant clam? Let's see. This one. So, we need... This one is strong, large, deep. So, we need the jig for this one, apparently. So, if I go over here, I guess I'm going to go with that and the jig. I guess I'm going to go with the strong. Yeah, let's just go with the strong rods. Although I'm pretty sure every single rod is going to work. If I'm going to use the jig, it's most definitely going to work. Uh, and I have a feeling we're also going to need the high-grade bait. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just check again. So it's strong. Jig. Yeah, it's not saying anything about the, the lure. Just strong. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to go with the strong rod as well, right? But it's not saying about the bait. It's not saying anything about the bait. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. All right, well, first thing is first. Let's get some sleep and then try to get myself some clams. But I think if I'm not mistaken, if I do give the mayor one more clam chow, that should probably be done. Pretty sure about it. Alright, so in order to get those things, of course, I need to leave two cats here, jump on the dinghy, and make my way right through here. Come on, buddy. Alright, so all we gotta do is just find some spawns to fish, and hopefully it's gonna work. I think I gotta go into the shallow area, right? Yeah, it says shallow steam. So I gotta go inside the shallow steam right over here with the um, with the dinghy. So, let me try to make my way to the shallow steam. Come on! Wait, I get stuck. I got stuck. Alright, are those fishes gonna spawn back in? Or did I just scare them off? Yep, they are spawning back right over there. 
All right, let's see if I can catch me the uh, clams then. I'm pretty sure we are in this shallow steam, right? Oh, what was that? Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? This one is 158 kilos. It's even bigger than the dinghy. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Squirrel Cake, thank you very much for telling me about that because as you guys can see, we already caught the... Um, the clam that we were trying to catch. And to tell the truth, the only way I caught these clams was by just using the... Um, not the lure. I mean, look at this. What? These things are so big. They're bigger than the freaking boats. <laughs> I mean, we're, be, we're gonna be done with uh, in no time with that mission then. Look at that. Another one. Awesome. That is really cool. The only way I caught these uh, clams was using the net though, so this is the first time I'm actually catching them and seeing the size of them. And another one. Yeah, apparently if you are going to use the proper lure and fishing rod, it's really easy to catch these things. Look at this. 165, 167 kilos. <laughs> and another one. And I think it's going to be another one. The thing about these ones is that they are really expensive, or at least you can actually cook some really expensive foods with them. If you are in dire need of money, this is the best way to do it, I guess. Just get yourself some of these large clams, cook them, sell that food for a lot of coins. I think it's about 200 coins each, something like that. And the final one. There we go. Yeah, I think we got enough. We definitely have enough. I mean, that is pretty cool, though. And of course, if I use this one... Whoa, so many. So we got X. Let's see how many we can catch. X again. And ultimately Y. Is this going to be just clams? Nope, it's just a lot of species though. Look at that. Oh, I think I got a new species. Look at that. We got the Mighty Devourer. What? We finally got a brand new species that we can put in the aquarium. Here we go. Well, in that case, let me use this one again then. Because it's really interesting that you're catching so many fishes at once. <laughs> Soon the boat will not be able to move anymore. I mean, look at these things. Whoa, that tuna. Look at the size of that one. Alright, 153. That is not bad. That is not bad. I'm just hoping for more, more new special. Um, what do I keep on saying? <laughs> I'm just hoping for some more of these new fishies, new species of fishies that we didn't catch before, because I really want to finish up the uh, entire book. All right, and one final time. Let's see what we can get. I mean, I love it that we're getting so many fishies caught at once by using this type of net. This is so good. Look at that. Right, no new species, but that's fine. At least we're getting a lot of fishies so that we can start cooking and unlocking more recipes. So, I think we are completely done with this side for now. Uh, let me just go ahead and try to catch me these ones. Oh, add it. Get it. Dang it, I missed it. All right, no new species, unfortunately, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. More spawn again. Love it. All right, some more fishies, and these are going to be the final two I'm going to catch on this side. Because after this, I want to go all the way to the bottom here. I think this is my favorite area from all of them, though, just because it's so colorful. All right, and next up, as I was saying, I want to make my way to the Thermal Geyser here. Try to catch me some fishes on this side as well. And then lastly, make my way to the uh, Twin Tail Lake and also the Resting Crag here. Just because I'm pretty sure that each, uh, every single one of these locations are going to have some uh, specific type of fishes, right? 
And finally, I also have to go to the shepherd bed here, just to see what we can get from there. Because in the final episode in, the, uh, in this series, of course, I managed to open up that area and release the dragonfish. At least that's how I'm calling it. It's not really a dragonfish. But I'm calling it like that because it definitely looks like a dragon. Uh, B, Y, and ultimately X. Look at that. No new species, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all of them already. Let me just try it one more time. I mean, if you're not really interested... Oh, I missed it. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. If you're not really interested on the type of fish that you're trying to catch, or you're, you're just wanting to catch some fishies, this is definitely the way to go, because you're getting a lot of them. Alright, and ultimately use the fishing rod. Come on, buddy. Oh, by the way, guys, have you started playing LEGO Star Wars Castaways on Apple Arcade? And the reason I'm asking that is because I'm actually planning on doing a live stream where I'm going to have you guys joining my uh, server so we can play together. Because you guys know in LEGO Star Wars Castaways, you can actually play together. Again, only four players in a single squad, I guess. And there are quite a lot of gameplays that we can do with your mates. And I feel like uh, we could actually find a lot of, uh, we can actually have a lot of fun with uh, Lego Star Wars Castaways, especially doing it live stream, of course. Yeah, I already started playing. I do have a brand new series on the channel. I think only two episodes have went live so far, but I'm definitely gonna make more. Hey, Julian Navaretti, welcome, buddy. Thank you very much for joining. And thank you very much for watching the stream. You have been playing it, Turtles. Awesome. And are you enjoying it or not so much? Alright, awesome. So we got that. Let me try to catch me one more because apparently I keep on catching these banana fishies. Alright, uh, I'm not really catching any more fishies here that I do not have, so let me keep on going, I guess, this way. It is also getting pretty late outside, so we gotta make sure I finish catching all the fishies that I want. Uh, let's see, this one is gonna take us this way, of course. But I wanna catch me more fishies on this side first. Lego Jurassic World. I never played that, though. Yeah, I've never played any Lego games. The first one that I actually started playing was uh, the one on Apple Arcade. That's the first Lego game that I ever played. Oh, I think I got new species. What is this? A speaking salad. What? <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, so I love it that we're getting new species here. Which means, very soon we are going to be done with the book. B. All right, no new species, but that is fine. At least we're getting a lot of fishies. And of course, by using this type of lure here that we're using right now, this is not allowing us to catch huge fishies. But at least it's uh, giving you new species. Hey, what is the first game that you ever played? Oof. I I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what was the first game I ever played, tell the truth. Yeah, I got absolutely no clue what might actually be the first game that I ever played. Since I played so many games, especially lately, I, I, I don't exactly know what was the last one or the one that I played the, the first. But of course, I'm pretty sure it was one of those very old games, like maybe Flash games and stuff like that you can actually play on your own browser. Oh my god, look at the bubbling octopus. This looks awesome. Yeah, I played many, many games back in the days, and I think back in the days where I started playing games, 
uh, we didn't really have the technology that we have right now, like the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch, and iPhones. We definitely didn't have those, right? We only have like some very low-grade PCs, at least where I lived. Um, back then, only the PlayStation 1 was available and stuff like that, so games weren't really not popular back then. And of course, I didn't have access to all those consoles back then either. So, mostly I play like free games that you can find on the web, like Flash games and stuff like that. Like maybe the Prince of Persia, if you guys know that classic game, the pixelated game. I think that one was uh, one of the first ones that I played as well. But I cannot, uh, I cannot remember the exact first one that I used to play. Turtles, are you actually playing Bungalow Bay right now as uh, you're actually watching the live stream? Yeah. Alright, keep on catching a lot of fishes, but unfortunately, nothing that I really need. And this one's the last one. Alright, never mind. Let's keep on going then. Uh, let me turn around all the way this way. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Why are you turning around like that? Come on. I need you to go through straight up ahead. Just like that. Awesome. And you keep making your way towards the next destination. Which is going to be uh, the, tw the Twin Tail Lake. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, let me go a little bit deeper here. And why not? A little bit closer to Twin Tail Lake. There we go. Now we are in Twin Tail Lake. So, let me try to catch me some fish over here and see if I miss something. Mm, I also remembered. Oh, look at that large fish. That is awesome. Unfortunately, I cannot really catch that one. Uh, look at what day you're on. What day are we? We are on day... <laughs> All right, <laughs> I did not even notice that. We're on day 69, apparently. <laughs> Love it. All right, let me try to catch me more fishies here. And any species? Uh, that is unfortunately a no. Alright, we got a few more here. Let's grab that. And I think I'm going to keep on making my way at the bottom because it doesn't like we're getting any new species here. It looks like there's a lot of these small shrippings in this area. Hmm. Alright, never mind. Uh, so, we got to keep on going straight up ahead to the resting crack. It's getting very late and as I'm going to reach 6am, I'm pretty sure... My guy is going to get very tired and I'm not going to be able to fish anymore. Pretty sure about it. Unless I sleep. Alright, we got to the resting crag. Let me try to catch me these ones. Come here, buddy. Nothing new, unfortunately. That's fine. Wisp Devil. Hmm. Come on, any more? No new species. All right, that's fine. That is fine. It is six a.m. Almost six a.m. And we gotta make our way back because we are so tired. Uh, let me jump into this one. Let's see. I mean, I do want to try to use my fishing rod as well, at least once or twice. Just to see what type of fishes we can actually catch with the fishing rods. Huggy Wuggy game. What is that? I never heard of it. Ah, Mahi Mahi. Look at this thing. This looks so cool. 
<laughs> it looks so mean though, although Maki Makis are so cute. Yeah, Puppy's Playtime is one game that I'm trying to get to, but uh, I've been very, very busy lately with uh, other games. As you guys know, we just ended finish up um, the storyline in Moonglow Bay here, and also the medium. And because we finished up with two new series on the channel, we gotta start uh, some more as, as well. Yeah, Puppy Playtime is very scary, I know about it, it's really cool. I've seen a lot of uh, famous, popular YouTubers playing it. Ooh! What is this? The Blinding Sun! Oh my god, this one is 920 kilograms. Are you kidding me? I think this is the biggest fish that we caught so far in the game. What? Yeah, look at that. This one is the biggest one. The latest record. 920 kilograms. What? That is humongous. Almost a ton. <laughs> Almost a ton. Fish guy, welcome buddy, welcome to the live stream. Yes, we are gonna play more Sneaky Sasquatch, for sure. I am currently waiting for the developers to submit another update for the game so that we have more things to explore in the game. Because if I keep on playing the game without new things to do in the game, it's getting very boring, not only for me, but also for you guys. It's getting very repetitive. <laughs> that fish, thick. Turtles for life, I think this is the first live stream I actually see you on the chat. Have you actually changed your YouTube name or or why? I want a chef duck. Is there a chef duck? I don't even know if there is a chef duck. There might be. And not sure what that is. Anyway, let's keep it going. I'm gonna try to catch one more fishy with the uh, fishing rod here. A yellow tuna. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. This guy's putting up a fight. I didn't manage to pull him in because I was uh, busy a little bit trying to drink the coffee. Come on, buddy. Just come straight at me. Oh my god, I cannot pull him in. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Almost done. Alright, well in that case, uh, let me try using this rod. Just because this one might give us a lot of fishies and hopefully something that we didn't have before. Yeah, never mind. We're good. We have all these fishies. So, what I'm gonna do next, let me make my way back to my boat because I think we are very, very tired. And although, I see we already went over... Yeah, look at that. We need to sleep now. It just activated. So apparently the sleep activates at 12 a.m. Come on, buddy. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so we're not getting any new species. So let me make my way to the boat then and uh, try to head on out. And while we're at it, let's also clean up the ocean a little bit. Why not? We're not getting anything returned by doing this, but that's fine. All I want to do is just uh, see it all clean up. Alright, so I gotta keep on going straight up ahead and outside through the portal over there. Yes, it looks like we can still use the fishing net to catch fishies. Although with the fishing rod, if you try when you're sleepy, you're just gonna lose. I think your um, your wire is breaking if you're trying.
right, we got to the geysers. Awesome. And just because we got here, let's also end this up with another round. We got B, B, and Y. No new species, unfortunately. That's fine. Man, I don't even think I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna be able to catch any bigger fishies than the one that we caught previously. That sunfish, that was absolutely huge. Huh, awesome. I see that the vote has ended, and apparently, the fried fish, most people are enjoying fried fish by the looks of it. <laughs> Right, we got that. Perfect. And let's put another trap down here. Because I'm gonna keep on making my way to the boat because it's already 5 p.m. Oh my god. We spent so much time fishing. You voted for grilled fish. Forza Horizon. I'm not really um, enjoying playing racing games. So I'm most probably not going to play that game. I know that the, a brand new game has just been released, right? Forza Horizon 5, I think it, it is, right? The last one that has uh, just came out. Alright, let's just make our way back home then. Try to get some sleep and also fix up the bow because it's pretty destroyed. It's pretty wrecked. Let's put the bait down. And we got so many fishies. Unfortunately, I did not manage to find any of those uh, flying fish. I, I think I gotta try to catch those ones in a different location though. But um, I guess I gotta focus on one thing at a time. First off, of course, it was the clam that we needed from the mare. I didn't have a channel until today, that's why you never saw me in the chat. Okay. Oh my god, what's happening? I'm trying to get past. There's something blocking me. What? There's something invisible blocking me there. Ooh, Team C's, hold up. We got some trash over here. There we go. Let's get this trash out of the ocean. Unfortunately, I just got one. Let me try to catch that one as well. Come back, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, my nigga got stuck. God dang it. Come here. Did he get stuck again? <laughs> ah, there we go. We got it. We got it. And although we got it, it does look like uh, it's still floating in the water there. But I think that's just a glitch. Just a bug for the game. Wait, I'm actually passing the house. I gotta go back. I gotta go this way. And a little bit to the left, just like that. Man, there's just so much trash here. Are you kidding me? Look at this. There's trash everywhere. What the heck? There's so many boxes and everything. I hate this. Get out of here. I only got the box out of that, seriously? <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's just so much trash out there. Everywhere. We got a, lot, a little bit. Oh my god. My neck got glitched there a little bit, but I think it's working still. Collecting trash feels a little bit glitchy in this game, though, for some reason. Yeah, look at that. Although I'm collecting it, I can still see it in the water. Julian, you're still playing Fortnite, buddy? I mean, I'm also playing Fortnite from time to time. But uh, I'm doing so bad in that game. That that game has just become way too too difficult. It's it's not it's, it's not like it was before. 
Fortnite used to be a very fun game for me, but not anymore. But they started adding um, cross-platform so that PC players would be matched against console players. The entire Fortnite has just been destroyed in my opinion. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say when you're saying, can I give you a speech, buddy? I don't know what you mean by that. Alright, let's just get some sleep. It is already 1 a.m. Right, awesome. Finally, getting some sleep here. And of course, because we did manage to catch some new species, I'm gonna make my way to the aquarium to try to deliver them over there. I mean, that's not a speech, buddy. That's that's just a, a song. Uh, glaze Maki Maki. Let me make me myself a Glaze Maki Maki. Why not? <laughs> Alright, awesome. Do you guys believe that devs will add cooking in Sneaky Sasquatch? Because I think I would absolutely love trying to have some cooking similar to what we're having right here. That would be really fun. And of course, if you are gonna eat those cooked foods, you are gonna be able to fill up your uh, hunger completely, not just uh, one piece. We got more food over there. Awesome. Uh, we do have the fish chow over here that we can go ahead and do. And this one is apparently going to be sold for quite a bit. So, let me make using that, using this, using these fishies, these ones, I guess. Um, let me use 12 of these. These big ones. The Starosa. These look so cool. Cushion fish. I think Alice wanted a cushion fish, right? If I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna try to deliver that one to her. Uh, actually, let's not use the links. Let's use the rabbits here. Six of them, and that's gonna be it. Uh, I did not play that many games on Roblox. No, just a few of them. And I gotta tell you, I don't really enjoy playing Roblox ga Roblox games that much. They're all just so glitchy, so bugged. And it's pretty clear to me that Roblox, of course, are developed, are just created by other people. And they're not, like, Roblox is not a one specific game, right? Created by a single developer that puts a lot of time and effort and love into that game. It's just a, more like a game engine, I guess, that a lot of people get to try things out. But they never really eventually finish them up and make, like, a complete game. Everything in Roblox just feels so glitchy, so buggy. And they also look really bad in my opinion. It's kind of a... Roblox to me is kind of a really bad copy of uh, Lego. That's why I never ever enjoy Roblox. And I know that a lot of you guys keep on asking me to play Roblox, but I just cannot play that game that much. There were a few game modes that I tried to play on Roblox. Uh, but again, I just played those because you guys requested them. And maybe I am gonna get back to some, uh, but I'm trying to only play like the most interesting ones, the most interesting Roblox games. And it's not really that easy to find some good ones. Uh, Hedgerows? Hedgerows 2. Never heard of it. Alright, let me grab a lump fish, this fella, this fella, a lot of... Cooners, Acadians. Oh my god, we got so many spectacular guppies. Let's just get rid of all these fishies from my inventory here. 
I mean, I'm doing a lot of chopping, and apparently I'm not unlocking new recipes. I don't even know what else to do. Am I supposed to cook specific foods to unlock more recipes? I don't even know. Alright, fry this up. Favorite food, pizza all the way, for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to grind those Star Wars castaways for the stream. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, please do. Please do, because I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to get to level 50 at least. Um, just because I'm trying to unlock more things. And I really, really enjoy LEGO Star Wars castaways, for example. And also, LEGO Star Wars castaway looks really gorgeous compared to how Roblox looks. Alright, awesome. We got another recipe, but unfortunately, again, no new recipes done. I still keep on cooking and keep and keep on cooking and cooking and cooking, but I'm not unlocking anything for some reason. I don't even know what to do. Uh, oh, I gotta do the uh, fish poutine here, right? The jerk fish poutine, yeah. Let me try to do a few of these. Why not? Let me use these ones, and we got 20. Perfect. Julian, I'm not making you a mod buddy. Yes, please do not spam the chat. People don't like it when you spam the chat. Alright, uh, so let me just fry this up. Just like that. Get some fishies, wash them up. And we are getting very, very close, hopefully, to getting new recipes. I mean, this seems to be the only way you're actually unlocking recipes, but for some reason it's taking a lot of work. Uh, bake it up. The gravy and boil this up and that's it. I'm also gonna have to make my way to the aquarium so that I don't accidentally cook some of the fishes that, the brand new fishes that we just got. Come on, buddy. And still, no new recipes. Seriously, come on. Alright, that's fine. In that case, let me start selling all the food that we just made. Just to get rid of it. Man, we're gonna have so much money in the game, it's crazy. Did I just put the fish poutine in there? I don't even know. This is the fish chow. Oh my god, we got 40 of these ones? Seriously, what the heck? How did I make so much... I just removed that one because, yes, yeah, the jerkfish poutine, and I think I need one, or at least a few of them, uh, for a friend of mine, so let's just leave it there. Alright, let's also put... Actually, I'm not gonna put anything else. I'm just gonna leave these ones in the shop. Perfect. Alright, let's see. So, uh, Abby is not in here. But uh, I do have to fix up my ship, so we're also going to have to go to the market over there. Yeah, we have quite a bit of stuff to do still. Oh, we got Marina. Hey, Marina. Don't worry about it. I just want to give you... Uh, let's see. So we got this one and this one and this one. Perfect. We got three new fishies added. And if I go into the book here. Look at that. We got that one done. And we still have two more fishes inside this one. Hmm. Yeah, as I was saying, it's pretty difficult to try to understand what the missing fishes are in the guide because it's not really giving you any information about them. Uh, give this specific or give this species, uh, the species to Marina at the aquarium for more information. But it's not really telling you how to catch or anything. So I guess it's all about exploring the world and luck, I guess, eventually. You are gonna find it. Okay, anyway, 
Uh, let's just wait for 8 a.m. so that the mayor comes out and I can give him the food that he needs. Hopefully. There we go. There's the mayor. Hey, buddy. And there is your... Oh, you know what? I didn't even make it. Yeah, I didn't make it for him. I completely forgot. God dang it. Well, in that case, he's going to go inside the town hall there. I'm not going to be able to give him this until maybe he's going to leave his work, his post then. So we are going to have to cook it first. All right, it is what it is. In that case, I am going to make my way to... Uh, to, to there is another guy that I got to give him the jug poutine, but I don't think he's at his post right now. So because of that, let me go ahead and fix up my ship because it's pretty up, pretty destroyed. All right, uh, fish yeah. burgers. Yeah, I don't have any more missions for that, but I do need you to fix up my ship because we kind of destroyed it a little bit here. And thankfully, fishing, uh, fixing the ship is now free for me because I've already done so many missions for her. No, no, I'm done with talking to you. All right, perfect. Now, let's see. Are there any more upgrades that I can buy for my boat? Uh, no. I mean, this one is only if you're trying to sell fresh fish. You're going to be able to sell them for a higher price. Uh, but uh, mostly I'm not selling really fish. I'm actually selling the, um, the recipes that we're cooking. So we definitely don't need that. Right, well, now that I put the fishes inside the aquarium, I don't have to be worried about selling them by mistake. So let me make my way right over here back home. There we go. And try to cook me the um, clam chow, I guess it's called. Let's see. So this one is the fish chow. But I need the clam chow right here, this one. All right, and I think I want to make like about four of them. Why not? Just like that. I think that's going to be enough. Alright. And I hope I'm gonna be able to unlock new recipes though. I cooked so much in today's episodes and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to unlock new recipes or not. Let's see. I mean, my... Uh, my guess here was that in order to unlock new recipes, you gotta cook specific foods, right? And when you're unlocking a recipe, you're unlocking that exact specific food that uses the exact same fish that you used from the previous uh, recipe you cooked, I guess, if that makes sense. Come on. Almost there. Alright, we got it. And now, all I gotta do is just wait for the mayor, I guess, to show up, and then I'm gonna have to give him the, the food. But, until the mayor is gonna show up, let me make my way to uh, the fish market, I guess, which is gonna be very close by. But first of all, let me keep on looking around and see if I miss anything. We got so much money, though. I gotta start spending it on something. So let me see if I gotta buy anything else here. Yeah. Hey buddy, are you saying anything else? No, I bought everything from you, including of course those recipes. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, what about you? Yeah, unfortunately we cannot find that fish that I need, the flying fish. She used to have it in the shop, but I think she's resetting the shop every single day uh, with different types of fish. Interesting. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let me then go ahead and buy me some more bait. Uh, let's see. Do you have any bugs? 
And I transform these ones in bait, 18 bait for the piggies. Yeah, that's fine. We do need some high grade bait. All right. And for the missions, we got Atlantic Cod, one fish burger, and a Kirian Redfish. Now, the thing about all these missions that I'm grabbing right now, I don't really need to do them anymore. Of course, you can go on and do them if you want to, these side quests that we keep on collecting. The thing is, since I already kind of finished all the missions, there isn't any incentive for me to keep on doing this. And this one right here is one of the missions that I had to do, but for some reason, every single time I chat with her, she's not really saying anything, so I'm not quite sure if this is a bug or anything. It might be. It might definitely be. Alright, Haru needs a fish burger, which I think I have one. Do I have a fish burger? Let me check. Uh, mission, I got your notes, give item, and... Yeah, I definitely made up fish burger, but I think I put it in the shop. Yeah, I already sold it, so I'm not gonna be able to do this one anymore. Alright, buddy, sorry about that. I cannot give you the fish burger just yet. Let's just see what time the mayor is actually leaving its post. Because I may need to go to sleep so that I'm gonna get him to come outside. Alright, so it's 5. 5 p.m. Interesting. Oh! Am I getting myself another upgrade? Wait, that's it? The last one! Every building, every parkland, and business. Mungo Bay is completely restored. I can hereby... I, I can hardly believe it. How do you feel? Hmm, accomplished, content, and kinda hungry. <laughs> Well, I happen to know about a fantastic little street food place down by the beach. And the owner is pretty incredible. Ah, there we go. We're finally done with this mission. All right. So as I was saying, we had to do a few more uh, fixing over here, which apparently we did. So that task has been completed. Um, next up, this one that I, again, as I keep on saying, I'm pretty sure it's glitched. River and I heard a beautiful melody today. Speak to Rose Trembly. I didn't know Ro uh, Rose could sing. I mean, I could try to go ahead and try to chat with them ag again, just to see if um, something fixed up, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be glitched. Yep, because she's still waiting for me to talk to her, and she is going to keep on saying the same whole thing every single day. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, anyway, it is what it is. Glow is stranger stories, yada yada yada, and have you been cooking? Something smells snazzy. Alright, anyway, I guess um, that mission has been glitched, never mind. In that case, let me just pass the time as the mayor is gonna leave his pose so that I can give him the uh, clam chow. Let's see here. Now, an easy way to pass the time, you can easily just sit in the, ch in the chair there so that you can um, pass the time. Or, I can go to sleep until 3 p.m. Alright, there we go. At least we managed to get ourselves a few new species of fishies in today's live stream. I did not manage to unlock any more recipes, which is kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? All I gotta do next is just wait for the mirror to come out. Alright. In that case, as I'm gonna be waiting for that, uh, I wish I could actually clean up the trash from the ocean here. From the beach. I do see a lot of trash, but I cannot use my my net to catch it. Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, let me use that. Let me use the spinner lure, the poise rods. And let's see if we can catch something. Oh god, we gotta hurry because the mirror is about to leave its post. 
Come on. You hit it when it rains. <laughs> Where's the fish? What the heck happens? <laughs> I think I glitched it. I, I, it went inside the the beach there, the sands. Alright, anyway, where's the mare? Hmm. I haven't seen him coming out. Is he right here? He usually sits here when he's coming out of his post. Yeah, because it says... Oh, there we are. Hold up, buddy. Hold up, hold up. I got something for you. And that is another clam chow. More clam chow. That, that smell takes me back. Just like the old days. About the old days, you mentioned down uh, the town governance runs in the family. Oh, yeah, my father, Leo Tremblay, was the mayor before me, who was uh, mentored by Antoine Oulet, son of Benoit. I'm thrilled that Lily is set to follow our footsteps. I just hope she's prepared for life in the public eye. Santin, I know you didn't ask for this, but the town is also watching you. Everyone sees what you accomplished. Now, you must inspire how you must inspire them and lead by example. But if your clam chowder is anything to go by, you have absolutely nothing to fear. Thanks, Mayor Tremblay. Same time tomorrow? Alright, so unfortunately we are still not done with him. I still have to spend a few more uh, days here, I guess, to give him more uh, clam chow. Uh, Dragon City. I've never heard of that game. Yeah, actually never heard of Dragon City. Uh, Sarah wants an athletic card. Do I even have that? Let's see. I think I do, although I've cooked a lot, so I'm not sure if I still have any more. A white belly. Uh, athletic blue back. It's not the Atlantic cards. Hmm. That's the American shad. Yeah, I may not have another Atlantic card though. If I'm not mistaken, somebody also wants an Acadian Redfish. Seriously, don't I have the Atlantic Cod? Hmm. So many fishes we have, though. I kind of forgot how the Atlantic Cod looks, though. <laughs> I caught so many species that... It's a little bit difficult to keep track of every single one of them. American. Yeah, I don't think I have the Atlantic Cod anymore. No worries. That's fine. Alright, anyway, in that case, let's just uh, head on back home, get some sleep, and get the mayor another clam chow. Let's see if we can actually finish up the mission for him eventually. Yeah, I think the game you're talking about is a pay-to-win game, and I don't really play any pay-to-win games on mobile. The only games that I play on mobile are Apple Arcade games, just because... I don't know. I don't like pay-to-win games at all. Uh, can we actually slip until... Actually, no, we cannot. Alright, alright, never mind. Because I know for sure that the mayor is going to come out at 8 a.m. But I guess we're going to spend about two hours until the mayor is going to come out, right? And at the same time, I got to go inside the market once again to try to get me those flying fish. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you gotta work hard or pay, and there's always gonna be people paying that are gonna be stronger than you, and that's why I don't play those type of games. For example, in LEGO Star Wars Castaways, yeah. there's no pay to win. The only way you will level up is if by simply paying, is by simply playing. You don't have to pay for anything. That's why oh. games on Apple Arcade are so, um, so good in my opinion. All right, again, we don't have any flying fish for sale. That's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's keep her going and wait for the mayor then. He is gonna be coming out at 8 a.m. Hey, mayor, where you at, buddy? Come on over, I have another chow for you. 
Alright, there we go. And you're gonna eat my clam chow. Another bowl of clam chow? Oh, perfect timing. Today's been manic. Oh, I overheard something near the beach that may interest you. It concerns the sunfish. Huh. I did catch the sunfish, so what is this all about? Apparently you can find the species all across the bay, from the border sea to the broken glaciers. But here's the rub. It can only be caught using the spinner lure and the strong rods. <laughs> I mean, I already caught it, so we good. Thanks again for the clam chowder. I'll have more time to chat mm. tomorrow. Okay, got it. Until then. Seriously, buddy? Oh my god. How much clam chow does this guy gonna eat? I keep on trying to finish the mission for him, but he keeps on asking for more and more. <laughs> what the heck? I think I have one more, though, that I gotta give him. So, uh, let's just try this again. Let's just go to sleep again until 6 a.m. And hopefully, this is gonna be the final round. I do have a, another one, right? Let's just check. Let me just wake up and make sure I do have one more in my backpack. Alright, so if I go here... Uh, yes, I do have actually two more. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. I, I'm just wanting to finish up the, the book for him. I mean, I, I'm saying that I want to finish up, finish up the book for him, but unfortunately, since there is a glitch in the game, I have no idea who I got to give food to. I mean, I know that he was the, um, the mayor's daughter that I had to give food to, but for some reason, she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there to fix up that glitch. I may need to have a little bit of chat with uh, the devs and show them this glitch that I'm running into. Hopefully they can actually fix it. Alright, let me go in the market. Hey, Wasim. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Alright, and we finally got the flying fish that I was trying to find. Finally. Alright, there we go. We got the flying fish done, perfect. I'm gonna have to use this one to cook the uh, recipe that I was trying to cook. But of course, I still did not unlock the one that I need. All right, next up, let's just wait until 8 a.m. so that the mirror comes out. There we go, just in time. And here's another clam chow. What? More clam chow? Fantastic. But this must be the last time. No more special treatments. From now on, I'll buy from your street food machine, like any ordinary citizen. Tell me, Stanson, when was your first visit to Mongol Bay? Whoa, up uh, decades ago. It was Katie's favorite holiday destination since he wa she was young. Um, the way she described it, the strange weather, the sparkling water, living here was her dream. Ah, uh, Casey. Ah, Casey, I always liked that one. Uh, ever the optimist, just like you. And honestly, watching your business stay afloat, flourish, even gives us all hope. May I see your journal? There we go. We are finally done. Look at that. Awesome. But again, as I was saying, there is one more spa that I got to add another signature here. And the only reason I'm not able to add that one is because... That one should have been added with... Um... Oh, hold up. What does this mission take me to? Oh, yeah, this one is taking me to her again. But um, this mission is glitched. So this is one of the missions that are glitched. And the other one that needed to sign my journal is the mayor's daughter. Which I can actually find right over here. And not only the mayor's daughter glitched, but also the sign behind her here. This thing should not be in this spot. Yeah, and unfortunately she's not allowing me to give her the food that she requested. Hmm... So because of that, I am actually unable to finish up the uh, guide. What level am I in the Star Wars Castaway? I think I reached uh, 28 or 29, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's, I'm 29, yeah. I think I need one more level to become 30. Which I am going to become 30 in the next episode. Um, actually, next episode that I'm planning on playing because I do have to um, post three more episodes that I already edited and uh, they're up on YouTube. I just got to schedule them. Alright, ultimately, let me go ahead and finish cooking something here and see if I'm gonna open up another recipe. Although I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. So, let me just cook. 
You know what? Let me just cook one of these. Let's just try to cook multiple times. Well, at least we can still catch all the fishies. Yeah, that's true. At least I can finish up collecting all the fishies and putting them into the aquarium. But uh, as you guys know, I am a huge completionist when I'm playing games. And whatever games kind of glitch out and don't allow you to complete 100%, it's really annoying. But again, as I was saying, I'm going to try to chat with the developers and see if they can actually fix up this bug for me. Maybe submit an update or something for me to fix it up, I don't know. Because, I mean, the only way I could actually fix this and finish up the game is if I actually play the game from, uh, from the scratch. But I definitely don't want to do that. Ah, look at that, we got the recipe! Uh, did we just get the recipe that I wanted? I did! There we go! The Baja Season Fried Flying Fish! Finally! Alright, let's make four of these. Oh man! We finally got it! Finally, finally got it! I was looking forward for this recipe. Because I do have a mission for this one. Somebody is requesting it. Alright, let's chop it up. There we go. Perfect, we got that. Let's get the sauce, chop it up. And all the leaf right up. There we go. Alright, and now, um, what else could I cook? Let's see, this one needs the Raja Skate. Small aggressive fish. <laughs> I mean, that's why I don't have these ones a lot because I never found a Raja Skate and I never found a small aggressive fish. I don't even know what that is. And this one needs a small fish. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, never mind. These two are unlocked. Yeah, these two are unlocked. I just need to find that Raja Skate fish that I just cannot come across. This one is the one that it's locked. Interesting. Um, you know what? Let me make myself some tacos. Let's see if we can unlock more recipes then by doing that. And then I'm gonna make my way to that dude that requested the uh, flying fish recipe. And see what he's gonna give me in return. Because that was a part of a main mission. I'm pretty sure about it. Come on, buddy. Almost there. There we go. Get the bread, and this should be done. Alright, this one did not unlock anything, but that is fine. I'm really happy that I managed to unlock the recipe, the one recipe that I was really working towards. And if I'm not mistaken, the dude that wanted to Baja should be here at the clock tower cliff. Um, the thing is, it's really early in the morning, so maybe he's gonna be there later on. Or maybe I can find this fella somewhere on the beach. Oh yeah, I think he's right here. Wait, who is this? Hmm, apparently she wants to talk to me. Oh, thank you one more time for all your divine surf and turf and sizzling huh. conversations. Hmm. There are even whispers of investment rewards over at the town hall. Yeah, I've already done that. Perfect. We got everything we needed. For what? Huh. I told you. For love. Where's your sense of romance? We just need to speak to Marina. It's a good plan. Trust me. Ah, there we go. So next up, our next task is going to be to speak to Marina. Uh, so let me make my way to Marina right over here. the aquarium and see what it's gonna be all about there we go Marina you'll never believe what's at harbor what what's at harbor a vending gale a crystal crab this close to town <laughs> why aren't you talking dad oh uh, yes those things both those things are there <laughs> I think I just lied to her so I can put uh, the food here and prepare something for them, I guess. I don't know. You're so bad at this. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. 
So what are we doing? I don't even know. Hold up. I just got a new task. I'm so confused. Uh, oh, we got to reach the harbor. And now River wants us all to convene at the harbor. What's going on? All right, let's go to the harbor then. Let's see what's up. Uh, I mean, is this the harbor? Yeah. Hey, I got your message. I came as fast as I could. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought you were River. What's going on? <sighs> um, not the fog, yes. <laughs> sorry, late. Had to find film for camera. Oh. Uh, where are the fishies? Bah. Um, missed them. Typical. Well, this was a bust. I'll be at the aquarium. Ooh. No, wait. What for? What's going on? Uh, uh -huh. did you hear that one about? So two parrots are sat on a perch. <laughs> I think I'm preparing them a special dinner. Look at that. We figured you both. You, you, we figured you both deserve a little break and a little privacy. Dad and I made your favorites. Take a seat and relax. Uh -huh. Aw, oh, man, I barely realized. We've been so busy for so long. It's so, so easy to lose uh, sight of what's important. River, Stanton, thank you. Hey, why don't you tell me sooner about your plan? Why? Well, because you'd have ruined the surprise. Fair enough. Ah, there we go. Finally done with this one. All right, I worked so hard to get that mission done. But this one is still glitched. <laughs> That just pisses me off so much. Mm. Olivia, anything new today? Ah. Santin, yeah, we detected some very strange movement patterns. I did some digging. Here are the details. Wait, what? What is happening? Um, uh -huh. mm, great. And is everything else okay? Hmm. Yep. So regarding what I mean is... Dan, stop! <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. We'll be leaving now. Anytime. All right. Well, by the looks of it, she is really happy. I mean, I mean, look at the smile on, the, on her face. <laughs> Love it. All right. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I just got a quest uh, marked down somewhere on the map. I'm not even sure what that was. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely not seeing anything marked down on the map, so what could have what could that have been? I don't even know. Work for Haru and Song of the Sea. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I got absolutely no clue. Anyway, guys, you know what? I think this is going to be the end of the uh, stream for now. And uh, I think we may be able to come back at this one one more time and try to get more recipes and, of course, finish up the guide here with all the fishies. As uh, at the moment, yeah, we did not manage to get all the fishies yet. Although she did said something about there was something somewhere. Uh, but if I'm looking at the map, I just cannot find it anywhere. I was actually expecting her to mark down a location for me to go ahead and explore. Hmm. But, uh... I just cannot see anything. Yeah, I cannot see anything being marked down on the map for me to explore. So I'm not quite sure exactly what she meant by that. I really, really don't know. Hmm. Alright, anyway... That being said, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I will see you all in another live stream very, very soon. And I have a feeling, very, very soon, we are going to have Sneaky Sasquatch coming up. So stay tuned for more of that. Alright? Thank you all very much for watching. Bye, guys!